this is the controller for my addressable LED strip. It's an Arduino Mega, although that's kind of overkill for what's currently connected to it. And then on the breadboard we've got a rotary dip switch, or rotary, you know, properly called a rotary encoder, often referred to as a rotary dip switch, and a couple of pots to, for setting analog controls powered off of an old computer power supply to provide the 5 volt which both the Arduino and the, uh, the LED strip run on. Um, there's a, f a bit of development which has been done for it so far, so it's currently in its standby mode, which just runs a uh, red LED up and down it so you know that something's going on. And then with each adjustment of the rotary dip, there's a couple of different modes. So that's just full bright on blue, and the red and green are adjustable, so that's set to blue, that's set to full magenta fade up in between with the uh, the two separate pots. It would be fully set up across, set up across RG and B. I just haven't actually bothered to uh, wire all three pots in yet. The next one is a strobe with the RGB set to one set to time how long the but the it's on for and one set to control how long it's off for. Then of course the obligatory rainbow fade. Um, the pots in this case control the speed it progresses at, like so, or alternatively the number of steps between in hue for each one. So that's with it set very low, so it's only stepping across a couple of degrees in hue, and that's with it set, oh, I just need to reset it between, it's a little bit slow to refresh, that's with the hue adjustment set extremely high. So it steps through all the entire 360 degrees in six colours. So it's only so it's only actually doing six colours. <clears throat> if you speed the if you increase the speed again, then um, it essentially just turns to white because for due to perception um, persistence of vision. And then the last one I've written so far <clears throat> does R G M B with a fade in and out at the beginning, so if I slow it down it might be a little bit more visible. Oops. So there it's just doing single LED pulses, and if we increase it a bit, it'll do increasingly big pulses of the, the three colours. <coughs> Speed it up again. And this one's a bit boring, the last one actually. Just does, um, it's similar to the first one, in that the, uh, the, two are the two pots to control colour, but instead of changing the whole strip at once, it changes the first one and then gradually pushes it down. So if I flip this, the pot from one end to the other, you can see it fading down. The delay is hard coded in there, I can't control that at, uh, in, at run time. So that's about that, and then it goes back to uh, to the standby mode. So the rotary encoder just outputs um, four bits, which so it's enough to pick between 16 programs in principle, although it's actually only got, what, five set up at the moment that I've written over the last couple of hours. The pots, there's only two, ultimately probably five would be more convenient, so it could do R, G and B, or three different colour hues to set for, for that for, for different things, or set speed. Um, the wiring's simple enough. The RGB strip uses WS2811 ICs integrated with um, SM5050 surface mount LEDs. Um, the... Arduino, it uses the fast SPI library to, on the Arduino, or it goes on with the Arduino, to send a data stream to the LED strip. Um, the LED strip takes 5 volts and will draw potentially as much as 15 watts per meter. That's half a meter strip, so even that little strip could draw 7.5 watts, which is a fair amount if you're trying to run it off of batteries, which this project ultimately will. Um, I think that covers more or less everything I wanted to on it, so I hope that's been vaguely interesting.